In this example, I need to solve the following system by graphing. And here is my system of two equations. Notice they're both linear equations in x and y. And one of the easiest ways to graph a linear equation is to put it in slope-intercept form. So let's have a look. Here's the slope-intercept form of the line. And it's y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of the x, is the slope, and b is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So let's look at our two equations. I'm going to work on equation one first. So let me rewrite it down here. 2x plus y equals negative 1. Is it in slope-intercept form? No, I've got to move the 2x. So I'm going to just subtract 2x from both sides of this equation. And I get y equals, I want the x term first, negative 2x minus 1. Now it is in slope-intercept form. The coefficient of the x is the slope, so I know that m is equal to negative 2. I need it to be a fraction, so just divide it by 1. And when we graph it, the slope, remember, is rise divided by run. And when you have a negative slope, you always put the negative in the numerator. So my rise is negative 2. That means I'm going to have to go down 2. And my run is going to be positive 1, which means I'm going to run from left to right. The other thing I need to graph it is the y-intercept. And remember, the coordinates of every y-intercept start at 0. The x-coordinate is 0. What's the y-coordinate for this one? It is negative 1. So now I can graph my first equation. The y-intercept is 0, negative 1. Believe it or not, that did say 1. So that means I start at the origin, go nowhere in the x direction, down 1 in the y direction. There's my y-intercept. And now I need to use my slope of negative 2 divided by 1. So negative 2 means go down 2 to the right 1. Down 2 to the right 1. And if I need some points up in this direction, instead of going down 2, you go up. 2 and left 1. So you just reverse both of these. So up 2, left 1, up 2, left 1. So there is my first line. And I'm going to try and draw a straight line through it. And put arrows on both ends. So now we've graphed our first line. Now we need to look at our second line. So looking at equation 2, it's negative x plus y equals 5. So to get it in slope-intercept form, all I have to do is add x to both sides. So I'm going to get y equals x plus 5. So what is the slope? What's the number in front of the x? Well, it's just a 1. So I'm going to write it as a fraction, 1 over 1. So that's going to equal rise over run. So my rise, excuse the terrible handwriting, is 1. That means I'm going to go up 1. And when I run, it's also 1. I'm going to go left to right. So what is the y-intercept for this one? It has the x-coordinate of 0, and what's the y-coordinate? It is 5. So to graph this one, I start at the origin. x is 0, y is 5, that means go up to here. And then my slope is 1, up 1, over 1. So I go up 1 to the right 1. So I'm going to obviously have to go back this way. So you reverse the up and to the right. Instead, you go down and to the left. Down and to the left. Down and to the left. 
So there's my other line. So let me draw that one in. And don't forget, we always put arrows on both ends. And is there a solution to this system? Do these two lines have anything in common? Yes, this point here. So I'm running out of room, so I'm going to write my answer up here. So the solution to this system is the ordered pair for this point here, which is x is negative 2 and y is positive 3. So that is the solution to the system. And how can you check it? You plug x equals negative 2 and y equals 3 into equation 1. See if you get a true statement. And you do the same for equation 2. You should get two true statements.